Hey friends, tonight we are going to be doing the Fairy Tale Fireworks Dessert Party Cruise. I am so excited Disney has brought this back for the final nights of Happily Ever After. We are going to be setting sail on one of the iconic Disney ferry boats and actually enjoying all we care to enjoy desserts and alcoholic beverages on Seven Seas Lagoon and then finishing up with an amazing way to actually watch Happily Ever After. Anywho, let's go do this this private event is something that you need to actually have a reservation to do and I'll go over all the details and it starts actually right here at ticket and transportation center and then like I said the ferry boat takes us out to seven seas lagoon and we're just gonna be able to sit back and enjoy some desserts and drinks stare at the castle and watch happily ever after in the sky this is such an amazing experience so I'm happy I'm able to bring you along the fairy tale fireworks dessert party is $99 for adults and I believe $69 for kids and it's so funny because it's kind of a play on words because we're going to be watching the fireworks from the fairy and it's going to be a fairy tale. You see what they did there and I really really like it and we too see everything that is included in this like this is a big big thing and for them to bring it back for the final nights of happily ever after I am so happy. Now I don't know if they're going to continue doing it once uh, happily ever after ends I hope they will but this is something I think is highly like worth it like really really this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience the ferry takes off just about an hour before happily ever after begins but the check-in is just around an hour and 30 minutes before and you actually have like a pre check-in like party right here where you get to have some drinks and snacks before you actually board the boat so I think we're actually gonna head on over to Magic Kingdom real quick and uh, I don't know just kind of say hello and then come back and check in and get Get ready for our fairy tale firework cruise. Tonight is the first night that they're actually doing this again. And uh, looks like we got some rain in the area. I brought my little umbrella and I can hear some lightning and thunder. So hopefully that all gets cleared up before we actually embark on our cruise. And I'm just excited. Like wait till you see how amazing this firework view is. And it's actually a little bit special because they give you special glasses to view the fireworks and it enhances them. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> If you actually just log in to WaltDisneyWorld.com, you can check availability and it gives you a little bit more information about it. The one thing that I wanted to point out is the glasses are called Mickey Vision, and I think that is so, so cool. And it also gives you a breakdown of some of the desserts. So they're gonna have some Kaboom cupcakes, some Rocket Burst popcorn, and a grand finale key lime tart, along with the Build Your Own Moose. And like I said, it also comes with specialty drinks, either with alcohol or without. And that gets me super excited. Not only are we gonna be able to enjoy all the desserts and drinks and the fireworks, but we're also gonna get a little history lesson on the ferry boats themselves. And one of the biggest things that I always wanna point out is did you know there are restrooms on the ferry boat? So obviously a lot of people would be worried about actually going out on a cruise and not being able to use the bathroom, but they do have emergency restrooms and they're gonna be open tonight. So I'm gonna be able to show you. And I think that is just so cool. We are closing tonight at 9 o'clock. Why are we going to be 8 15? Oh boy. We will. All right, everybody. Go enjoy yourselves. Right now, it's actually just used for transportation back and forth to the Magic Kingdom. But later on tonight, they're going to set up some pretty tables with tablecloths. We're going to have some entertainment and some nice decorations and lights. So it's going to be a complete makeover on the ferry boat. And we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. I'm excited just to come in, hang on Main Street just for a little bit, and then we're gonna hop right back on the ferry boat and head on over. I didn't wanna record too much of the ferry boat because we're gonna be spending a good time actually on the ferry boat a little bit later on. <gasps> Look at the 50th anniversary monorail's coming in too. I get excited whenever I see the monorail. I could have probably just stayed at the TTC, but you know, it's really hard not to go to the Magic Kingdom when you come to the TTC, you know what I mean? So at least I feel good actually just popping over real quick. I already have a park reservation. And uh, like I said, just kind of say hello. <laughs> Recently, it seems like there's something new every single day at the Magic Kingdom. Just the other day, I came out to check out all the statues, and the Mickey and Minnie topiaries and the 50th cake wasn't here. And uh, this is my first time seeing it now. Looks like they've got a photo pass opportunity as well. So that's really nifty. I'm loving all of the 50th decorations. It is beautiful. 
We are really pushing our luck though coming over to the Magic Kingdom. It definitely looks like a storm is a brewing, but here we are. We're here. We are at the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> and there she is. I feel so satisfied that I came in to say hi to the castle. You got to come in and say hello. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? I'm thinking maybe we have enough time that we can get a ride in. We have one hour before we need to be back to the TTC. So we can definitely get at least an attraction in within an hour and then back to the TTC. Now we have to decide on which one we want to do though. As I'm making my way up to Fantasyland, it's my first time seeing the Alice in Wonderland statues. And look at them. They're so amazing. Look at, we have the Mad Hatter over here. Wow, I'm loving these statues. I think I've said that a, a couple of times, but they are so cool and they're all over all four parks. Is it strange to want to ride the teacups now? You know what I mean? After I seen the statues, I was like, well, I wouldn't mind actually doing the teacups. Why not? I think we're going to do it. And take a look at this. It's our first time seeing the lightning lane sign. And I like this one because it has a little citizen clock on there. It's a little bit fancier than the others. It's really, really awesome. It's also the perfect time to come ride where it's still daylight out and the lights are turning on so it looks really pretty in there. Now when it comes to the teacups, there's two different types of people. I always say it, they're the ones that go crazy and try to spin as much as they can and then there's some that just like to sit back and relax and uh, I'm sure you guys can guess which one I am because I'm going to sit back and just relax. Look at the collection of masks on the ground though, holy moly the way nice and easy <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> I love it all right I'm gonna give it a little spin here just a little bit just to give ourselves a little turn oh there we go now that's all we need we can just enjoy the ride <laughs> oh is it gonna pop out of the top of the tea kettle yet Oh, there he goes, here he comes. <laughs> I see you. Oh. <laughs> On our way out from the teacups, take a look at the sanitizer dispenser. Somebody put a coaster from Cinderella's Royal Table underneath there. How funny is that? Because you know, usually it's really goopy under there and that's a coaster from Cinderella's Royal Table. So that's really, that's a classic right there. That was exactly what we needed. A nice little spin on the teacups gets you all pumped up, the blood's moving, and I'm excited for tonight. I think we're gonna head back to TTC now and just get ready for our cruise. Uh, the rain looks like it's coming in, but good news is it's going away, so it might sprinkle for a little bit. I got the umbrella, but I think we're all clear for tonight. Now we're gonna make our way down Main Street USA and back out to the TTC. And it looks like it's definitely getting a little bit more crowded here. Ooh, gotta step out of the way, getting those nice castle shots. But yeah, it definitely seems like it's definitely getting a little crowded here. People are getting ready for the fireworks because they're at uh, 8.45 tonight. So a little bit of a change up on time, but I think there might be a boo bash. Uh-oh, looks like we're getting a couple of raindrops. Ooh, well that was actually really cool. <laughs> but. Luckily we got the umbrella and I don't think they'll cancel the uh, firework cruise because it's mostly all on the boat. It's all, it is all on the boat and uh, like you're covered from the rain. So hopefully it, uh, it won't cancel, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Did you guys know that Disney gathers up all the change that's thrown about on property like here or inside It's a Small World or any of the wishing wells and then they donate it to a charity that cast members actually vote for and I think that's really awesome. Look, there's actually a lot of coins down there so I have a quarter. I'm going to contribute a quarter. There it is. I hope my wish comes true. So we just made it back to the TTC and I can see them getting the uh, General Joe Potter all together. It looks like that's going to be our fairy tale cruise for the night and I'm excited. And here we are. It looks like they got the sign out front. The fairy tale fireworks, a sparkling dessert cruise. Tonight's event is beginning at 645 and take a look. Just like I said before how they spelt fairy tale. Very clever. 
looks like a lot of people are here and ready to check in and it looks like they're not doing the pre-party I would say like they did last time uh, it's just kind of just gathering around and wait to actually check in and then once you get on the ship or on to the ferry boat they're gonna give you your first drink and all the other snacks are gonna be ready there for you there we go uh, welcome. welcome welcome Morrow Nathan. Yeah, thank Prince you. Nathan needs a lanyard, please, oh, Go Prince ahead. Nathan. Yes. Oh, that made me feel really great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going in. Enjoy. Don't cause any trouble oh. <laughs> she called me Prince Nathan, and uh, I think it was the <laughs> coolest thing ever. Now we are all checked in, and we got ourselves a fancy little lanyard. And these are the Mickey Vision, so we're going to be able to look through those, and we're going to be able to see something special added to our fireworks. And it actually glows too. Oh, look it! See, this is going to be a fun, fun evening. I am super excited. It says on the back of it, "Look through the lenses when the fireworks flare, and you'll find something magical in the air." Mickey Mouse will be in each burst of light making the sky an enchanting sight. Doesn't that just sound so fun? Now we're heading on to the ferry boat. Uh-oh, and I feel the raindrops. Oh boy. One of the things I noticed they're doing is photo pass actually with the uh, ferry boat. And I think we're gonna actually just hop onto the boat because uh, I've gotten a lot of photos already. I've been taking them all this time. So you can get your photo taken right here with the boat in the background and look at all the balloons Look at they say fairy tale firework cruise on them. I love it. Oh, that is so amazing It is starting to rain a lot more So that's why I just want to hop right on the ferry boat so we can actually be dry And we also get a good look at all the desserts before a lot of people get in there because they're all gonna be taking photos And here we are. Oh Hello, hello! I get one of these? But of course. What Fancy, you? what is this? This is sparkling champagne. Oh, it's really champagne. <laughs> oh, really? I like it. Ooh, very yeah, fancy. Oh, that's where I gotta go, huh? Yeah, that's where I'm not too sure what this is, but they greeted me with it, so I'm gonna drink it. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. I think it's a little wine or champagne. I don't know. Very nice though. Here is a look at all the drinks they have to offer. They've got some nice wine selections. They've got Bud Light, Yingling, and some specialty cocktails. What are the specialty cocktails? Oh, okay, so one is a firecracker fizz, and then one's a grand finale. I'll do a firecracker fizz and a Bud Light. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. What goes in the firecracker fizz? Oh, Bacardi. Oh, oh fancy. Huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh, Excellent. And a Bud Light. If the Firecracker Fizz or Bud Light's not your thing, they have decaf coffee, coffee, hot chocolate, and then they also have both of the drinks just as they are without the Bacardi in it. So you can try the Firecracker Fizz and you can try the Grand Finale without any alcohol in it. I'm gonna try the firecracker fizz as we're waiting in line to get some snacks. <laughs> Ooh. That's good. Oh yeah, it's good. You like it? I like it. <laughs> it's definitely a little fizzy. <laughs> oh, you like it a lot? Oh wow. <laughs> I'm hopping in line to see all the good desserts they're offering, but it also looks like they're walking around handing out desserts, and she's the best. She is so much fun. Oh, there she goes. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna get a look at all the desserts. Well, it seems like we have a red velvet uh, whoopie pie, or red velvet wow pie, a brownie burst bites, a cherry boom cream puff, a grand finale key lime tart, and burst of colors and flavor cheese and fresh fruit. So we're gonna do one of each, and then we're gonna take them upstairs and try them. Looks like the ferry boat is heading out, and we're embarking on Seven Seas Lagoon, and I got a plate full of desserts to show you, and I'm excited. This is gonna be very delicious. One of the things I wanna point out is there are tables here, but you actually have to get here very quick and very fast to hold down a table. So instead, we got this nice little plank of wood that we're gonna be uh, eating off of today, and it's not too bad. I mean, 
I got a beautiful view, so I'm, I'm happy, but I'm gonna try some of these amazing desserts. We've got the popcorn, the cupcake, the key lime tart, and I'm excited for this cherry blast right there, the cherry cream puff. First things first, we're gonna do the cherry cream puff, and these look so, so good. Look at these little guys. I mean, that's really cool, and you can get as much as you want. Same thing with the drinks. I ended up getting a Bud Light and a mixed drink at the same time because the line was really long, so I knew that I was gonna probably wanna get a Bud Light, and uh, maybe I'll get another one, I don't know, we'll see how we go, but the desserts, I'm gonna pick and choose whatever one's my favorite. And that's gonna be a favorite. I'll get another one of those. <laughs> I love how we're just eating desserts as we approach the Magic Kingdom. I think it's so cool. I think I'm gonna dive into the Key Lime Tart next, and then the Red Velvet Whoopie Pie. Everything looks so good, and for $99, I feel like you're getting a lot of food. Like, you're getting a lot of snacks, a lot of different drinks, coffee, hot cocoa, even specialty mixed drinks. Like, that's kind of worth it on its own. Key lime tart, here we go. This is the grand finale. <laughs> and then, oh, we have to build your, build our own moose station. I forgot about that, so we're definitely gonna come back for that. Oh, we got some uh, more food coming around too. All right, key lime tart. That's a winner too. <laughs> okay, so it might be a little bit windy up here because we are on a ferry boat, but so far, I've, I've tried two desserts and they're both amazing. The key lime tart and the cherry cream puff, unbelievably so, so good. And now I think I'm gonna try the red velvet whoopie pie. That's the one. Oh, this one's a little bit messy though, so we're gonna need some napkins. This is definitely a little messy, but it's a whoopie pie. Wow, good as well. Success on all three of them. Holy moly. I seriously can't stop just thinking. I'm here eating cupcakes and cherry cream puffs, and right there is the Magic Kingdom. That is amazing. And cheers, because we got a Bud Light with it too. That is so cool. Something that's really cool to point out. They have photo pass photographers actually going around taking photos as you're actually embarking on your dessert party cruise. And I think that's an added benefit. So if you're in a pass holder, that's included. Well, that's included if you purchased it. Now we're gonna try the push-up popcorn. And I like how it's an actual push-up popcorn, so. <laughs> mm. When you get up to the second floor, they actually have another dessert station, basically with the same items, but it's just much more prettier, I feel like. Look at all the blue lights, everything looks so delicious. I think the only thing that's downstairs is, that is different is they have the Build Your Own Moose Station, which we're gonna check out, and also they have the uh, bar area. Now we're gonna try the panna cotta with the popping pearls inside them. I had to grab a fork, so we came down a level. A little bit better lighting here, and it's just so cool because the, the whole entire ferry boat is just making its rounds around Seven Seas Lagoon. This is a really cool experience. This does look interesting, and it's got the boba balls in it too. Oh, I dropped a couple of my boba balls. <laughs> so here we go to the boba balls. That's good, wow. Now we're gonna do the build your own moose station. And look at this, some fancy stuff they got going on here. And we just added ourselves, right? So yes. this is Oreo. Yes, Oreo honeycomb, so it has um, honeycomb sugar in it. Oh wow, Oreo honeycomb, and then what is this? These are candy rocks. I'll take a couple candy rocks, bada boom, bada bing. Would you like pop rocks? Oh, and then of course, yes, give me some pop rocks. That's the way, and perfect. Build your own moose. I love it. <laughs> I can legit hear the Pop Rocks popping. I almost lost it there too. Did you guys see that? The way that it fell? So I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. Perfect. A little Pop Rocks moose. Hopefully it's good. Oh yeah. The desserts here are like A plus, and I love all the glowy things. I'm gonna turn mine on now. Gotta get all ready, because it's definitely uh, dark out. 
Oh, there we go. Aboard the fairy tale fireworks cruise, they do have a scavenger hunt where they have hidden Mickeys actually all over the uh, ferry, and they have to find them with this little black light. And I think that's really cool. You can get a little uh, scavenger sheet right there. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to show you where one of them are. So in case you ever do come back and you decide and you want to do this event, I'm not going to spoil where they are at, but I'll give you a clue where one is. You take your black light and you just shine it against the walls, and whoop! <laughs> kind of hard to miss and now the thing people probably have been looking forward to the most the restrooms on the ferry boat <laughs> take a look at this they have photos of the ferry boats in here and it's kind of like a like a porta potty almost it's very very cool in here nice AC I just think this is cool because normally the restrooms aren't open during regular transportation and uh, we get a good look at them right here and I like it and it looks like we're starting to line up for the fireworks so I grabbed myself the grand finale I feel like I needed to try it and it's the perfect drink to actually drink as we watch the fireworks and you can see we're lining up right here and you're gonna see Space Mountain and then Cinderella Castle there and yeah this is gonna be a great spot another thing that's really important to point out once the fireworks do begin they take away all the desserts and all of the drinks so you're gonna want to stock up before the fireworks start that's exactly what I did
that was a lot of fun. I don't think all the speakers were working. They had some water actually running off the top of it because it was raining. So I think it actually ruined some of the speakers on the side there. So you couldn't really hear the music for Happily Ever After, but I was singing it in my head. And I was trying to show you as much as I could with the uh, Mickey vision. And it was really cool because you could see like the little Mickeys, but because everything's so wet because of the rain, it's really tough. Overall, I thought this was such a fun experience. The uh, cherry cream puffs were probably my favorite thing, and I think I liked the Firework Fizz better than the grand finale. I mean, it was still good. Both drinks were great, and all you care to drink and all you care to eat desserts with an amazing Firework view with Hidden Mickeys, you can't go wrong for $99. <laughs> Before you actually leave, it looks like you get a little cookie. Oh wow, look at that, it actually says fairy tale fireworks on it. Thank you. Oh, I love it. And with that, we are done here. I really, really enjoyed this event. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the rain kind of like dampened a couple of the uh, great experiences, but overall, well worth the price because like I said, especially if you're a drinker, you know what I mean? Having the all you can drink beer and specialty cocktails and wine and plus the desserts, I think it's well worth $99. You can charter out your own boat and it's going to be so much more expensive. So this is a good way to actually experience that without breaking the bank. Anywho, hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye they don't waste much time where we were just boarding to get on the fairy tale firework cruise they actually just docked another ferry boat of people that were leaving the Magic Kingdom and take a look at this you can stick around and watch the uh, water pageant so fancy